Hey everyone, this is Clausius, and I am here to do another Go lecture. Um, right now, I'm going to go over the touching moves against the Hoshi Star. So, for starters, when White plays this move, he's normally playing it when Black has other stones around, or he's um, just doing it with his special case. So, everyone knows it's 3 3. When there's the, the double wing, you have a 3 3. Uh, but when it's like this, sometimes you might choose this side or this side. For instance, let's say what has this and this. Maybe you want to try this out. Uh, but I won't go into examples. Most of the time, you'll just choose between this and this, depending on the rest of the board. So the full responses for black is here, 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 and here. So if we go here, and white goes here, if black goes here, it goes into the normal 3-3 variation. So you just play this out. And black gets a wall. Now everyone should know this variation. So normally if black plays on this side, he wants the wall facing this way. And if white's coming in on this side, he's saying this side's not important. So when white's playing this move, normally the wall is just not recommended for black, so when white goes this way, black might have to go here. In this case, white has this move, and then he can tie him up. Uh, black has the choice to jump again. Uh, this would be a fine variation, normally there's a black stone over here, and he'll get thickness this way. This is one variation, black might also push like this. This actually might be a better move than that move. Um, Another choice for white, he might try this, though I think this is just fine. Uh, this might be another option in case there's already a bloodstone here. White can go here. Uh, this here. And white should be alive, because if he reads the white window, two eyes. Here. Uh, the only other option to consider would be this move, and I believe this is the one also. Two eyes and two eyes. So this shape, I, as far as I know, I believe it to be alive. So those are the normal options for this. And white's move is sweet, pretty much always this. There's also this option. This is a specialty case, though. Uh, I wouldn't recommend trying this for a while until you get used to it. Uh, one black response is this. And then this. And depending on the rest of the board, white might choose this or this. Okay. It all depends on if there's stones over here. You have to judge that. The what you whenever you're running on the side, if there's black stones over here, um, always read and take into account the best move depending on the situation on the board. But with this one, you want to make sure that you keep track that this move can take away your eyes in the corner, and then black also wants to know that uh, this move can let white live instantly. So make sure you keep track of these moves in the corner when playing this one. There's also this one. Uh, this one would be probably slightly rare to play. Well, maybe not. And I believe it is right. Uh, if I'm wrong, then feel free to correct me. The thing about these just like these are there's a lot of variation and a lot of them are situational and you have to adjust your play depending on whatever stones are on the outside. Uh, these, I'm trying to show the most basic moves but uh, I can't go for every variation because the stones on the outside are always going to have to play a part. The next move is this one. This one says I want the corner and the outside is less valuable. In white goes here. This one's a very simple one to remember. Like this here, and then black, like this. 
Or if you want to be solid, you can do here. Here. Uh, but I don't like this. So, in this case, uh, sometimes there's a black stone already here, or here, and black will just get sent away. Sometimes there might even be a black stone here, in which case black's next move would be to go here, or here, one of these, either or fine. And jump, jump, or you might push and jump. It's debatable whether this push is worth it or not, because um, it does fix block shape, especially if it's in here. This push is, can be questionable because later there's IG in here. So it all, it's uh, all your choice. I don't believe I'm strong enough to tell you if uh, removing the IG here is worth it or not. It also will depend on the rest of the board. Like if there's a bunch of black walls here, then yeah, I would just do that. If there's white stones, I might leave it in case I want to jump in there later. So just remember there's an Aji here, and this stone will fix it. So um, uh, I'll leave that to you to judge. And these two, this one and this one, are very uncommon. Normally that you uh, Hane when white touches you. Uh, this one will go into the 3 or white goes out. Plug this here, plug himself. Very simple, then black and jump, or here, or depending on what else, he might go elsewhere or just finish. Um, this one, um, why have the choice of doing this? And then you can go to a kind of a 3 3 variation. Like this. Uh, white can hide here, or he can just go here. Can Sorry, before doing this, push here one more time. Mm, uh, why we push twice? We do not push three because we don't want to push. Uh, we want to stop as soon as we can. And we push twice because uh, later, when Black plays this, we don't want to have to fix. So we'll push one more time in Sente. So later, when Black plays this, it'll be go take for Black. Um, this move and this move for black, I am not uh, greatly familiar with. These might be used in some rare cases, but I am not uh, completely familiar with these because they're just not played very often, especially in the corner. Normally, this and this are good enough. But um, I think I covered most of the variations. If anything, um, it's if there's something different in the situation or something, I mean, always adjust your plan. Remember that this move and the Hanes are always situational. So this is um, what we call a probe, which is an um, asking move. You ask Black what does he want to do, where does he want to go, and it's Black's choice to choose which direction to go. White doesn't uh, necessarily know what to do. But when playing this move, uh, you should consider all of Black's options and see what Black's choice is. You should expect Black's best choice when you play this move. And always prepare for the situational uh, stuff and make sure that you read your life before playing it. Um, and if you can't, just do your best. Uh, I hope this was helpful, and I will see you next time.